Hello everybody. I had decided this week for this week's video I was going to do a little shout out slash review slash trying to start a fire and make a cup of coffee type thing. Uh, <clears throat> so what happened was whenever I went to uh, this the spring gathering, the uh, bushcraft meetup down in Tennessee this year, uh, which was my first year. You know, I got I got to meet uh, Robert from Bluegrass Bushcraft, and you know, got to meet him, and shake his hand, and you know, really get to talk to him and stuff. And you know, you don't get to talk to people like that on YouTube. You know, not. We, I mean, we sat around the fire and talked, and I, I really enjoyed it, really, really enjoyed it. It was, just, it was just so nice, to, you know, to get to meet somebody like that that you talk to all the time on the internet. Uh, well, uh, I was carrying around a military canteen, you know, with no cover or nothing, just carrying around the canteen, because the cover was on my backpack, and it didn't have no way to carry it around or nothing, anyway. That's beside the point. <laughs> Anyways, uh, I wanted to show you this little canteen cook set that Robert gave me. <clears throat> he just said, Tom, I, just, I want you to have this. I said, really? Yeah, sure. I said, okay. I wasn't going to turn that down. <laughs> Look at that. And what it is <clears throat> you got your cover of course and military style canteen y'all have seen that before and then you've probably seen these little covers here too they've got a lid that goes over them but we don't use the lid we just pull the straps over okay and canteen cup I'm sure you guys have seen these before and the little stove that comes with it little supposed to support that in some kind of way I don't know I don't know how you would set the, the cup on there without a pop or anything so <clears throat> Robert is handy like me so what he did was and I've, I've got one of these cups already, but I've always wanted a lid for it. What Robert did was he made a lid, this little stainless steel one inch D-ring. He made a lid that fits right on that. And I don't know if y'all can see that or not, but it's got little ducks carved on it, a little wilderness scene. And, you know, I, I don't I don't know if he carved that or whatever. You know, it looks like it's something that was already made in there. <clears throat> but it's still, I'm sure he selected this piece of metal just because it does have the, the, the little duck and stuff on there. I don't know if y'all can see that or not. But made a real nice lid. I've always wanted a lid, but the lid's like 6 or $7 if you buy one new. And Robert's like me. You know, if he can make it, he will. And he made the lid for that, which came with the set. And then, <clears throat> for the stove part of it, he took a piece of stainless steel, and he made a little top for the stove. So what you do is, when the stove is sitting there, you build your fire, and then you set your stove over it, and then you chunk little sticks in here. And I'm sure when Robert gave me this, he knew I'd probably do this, but he showed me another one that had wire mesh around the bottom that extended the height of it a few inches. I'm, I'm probably going to do that. I've got some mesh picked out to do it with. And <clears throat> I'm sure Robert won't mind because uh, he's like me. <laughs> he can't leave nothing alone. <laughs> so I'm, I'm probably going to add a little maybe two inches or something to this to raise it up a little bit and he said that's a, a great uh, what do you call it a mo great modification to these little stoves these little wood burning stoves <clears throat> okay and then 
the case that it comes with is it's a molly type case with a strap that goes over and a one inch plastic clip and it has little pockets on each side <clears throat> and you can put you know you can put a little fire kit or water tabs or uh, whatever you want to put in there but what I put in there what I'm going to be putting in there from now on these little coffee tea bags that you can make using a coffee filter <clears throat> and recording yep <laughs> these little coffee tea bags that you can make with coffee filters what you do is you just take your coffee filter put you a spoonful of coffee in there twist the top and put you a bread tie on it and I've got two of them in the pocket and I'm sure whenever I use this to go if, if I go hiking or whatever and take it with me they'll be in some kind of sandwich bag or something and then I'm also going to sew a couple of little loops on right here and here so that I can attach a shoulder strap onto it and I'm sure Robert won't mind that because you know he knows I'm I'm gonna change it some way and somehow <clears throat> but there you go so I'm gonna get a, a little fire going I, I've got plenty of shavings here on the porch where I sit and I practice my feather sticks and whatnot I got some cedar shavings and I'm gonna try to start strike a fire with the ferro rod that Nathan gave me that I made the handle for this will be my first time using this big old ferro rod so you know it may be hit or miss or whatever it's my first time trying to strike up cedar shavings uh, so we'll see how that goes so we'll just play it by ear you know I'm here to learn just like everybody else so I'll switch this around to the fire there and see what happens Okay, now I'm going to try to strike up these cedar shavings here. Uh, I've never tried to do this with these kind of shavings before. I don't know if it'll work or not. I know that the cedar bark will go up like crazy, but it looks like hair. So anything that looks like hair will go up. So I'm going to try it and see what I can do here. Remember, this is my first time using this ferro rod. I've never used a big one like this before. Had a long stroke. A short scratch. I think the short scratch is the way to go with a big ferro rod like this. Come on now. Well, that cedar shore smells good. So the short scratch. Oops, my fire went out. I better try that again, my fire went out. <laughs> oh yeah, okay, okay. You see, I'm just learning people. Short scratch is what I call that, the short scratch. And you got the long stroke. Come on, cedar chips. Come on. Them cedar chips ain't burning worse of crap. Let's we'll put a little grass on there. Oh, now the grass will burn. <laughs> that was going. That was my. Just in case the cedar chips wouldn't light, I was going to strike up this grass. I would have thought that cedar would have burned like crazy, but I guess, you know, it just, uh, it could have been wet. I don't know. Cut some of these feathers off here that I've been practicing on. Throw them on there. <clears throat> I 
The reason why people use these little stoves like this is you can you can put like that uh, solid fuel in there or you can use little sticks. I think what we're looking for is some hot coals. I don't know if we'll get it with this wood I'm using or not. <laughs> Here's my wife holler. Hey, where's my coffee? <laughs> She's funny. I wish she could go out camping with me more. She's got health issues and stuff. I'm sure a lot of y'all know how that is. Okay. Well. Okay, everybody, that didn't take long. We got some hot water now. And I'm gonna drop my little coffee tea bag in there. Did you bring a spoon? Let me see your spoon. And your coffee cup. Just give me the whole outfit. There we go. So, I said to bring, bring you a cup and some cream that we could have a cup of coffee and you put some cream in your cup and bring it out. You didn't say you wanted a cup. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm making the coffee. <laughs> okay, I'm going to put you a cup. You want sugar in it? No, you can't no, have sugar. I don't, in it. I sure don't want no sugar in it. Okay. Don't worry about me. I'll, let me just make you a cup and... You're my queen, I'll... Oh. Okay. I think we got coffee, babe. So let me... Fish that tea bag out of there. You could probably do a bank line tied around that. That way you wouldn't have to use bread ties and then you could have your string to pull it out with. Okay. Oh gosh, that smells good. Well, that's a pretty good cup of coffee. I'd like to thank Robert from Bluegrass Bushcraft for his uh, his little canteen cook set that he gave me. And if you guys haven't go don't know Robert from Bluegrass Bushcraft, you need to go check him out. He's got a really good channel, and he does some crafty stuff too, like I do. Arthur. Alrighty then, I'll talk to you all later. Thanks.